Hello party people, this is the first teaser of the Archive app, or also known just as the Archive. Um, you can see here a brief overview of uh, um, what is coming to you uh, in this short video series um, about the development of the Archive app. Um, I will start with the origins of the app because it's uh, it will help you to understand how knowledge work uh, works and how the app uh, yeah, basically has a history. Um, it's a two-parter for now, history of the method and uh, the basics of Luhmann's uh, Zettelkasten, its own archive. Uh, then I will go, go further. This is a work, work in progress. I don't know how many um, aspects I will add. Um, I use, I use the Zettelkasten method to write about uh, the Zettelkasten method in the archive app. Yeah, quite, uh, quite mind-blowing, but uh, it's like that. Um, the second part is understanding the archive app, um, how the components are and how to use the features. You can see here it's um, an app that uses an NV core, um, but we'll deviate, it, uh, deviate from it uh, much further. We have yeah, the Omnibar, which uh, is definitely an Omnibar. Uh, a new feature uh, that's specific to the archive app, like saved searches, you can see here in the uh, top left corner. Then a small introduction into what software agnostic programming is, what the paradigm is, um, because we used it and are big proponents of it. Uh, it's a mixture of ethics and uh, a paradigm how to design software we developed um, in the process of uh, uh, designing the archive. And the last part will be understanding the Zettelkasten method, which is the underlying, uh, underlying paradigm um, which you use uh, for the archive, I mean. And um, this will enhance your um, your understanding of knowledge work and give you a good base uh, to start if you have no clue how to um, do knowledge work and I hope so expand your knowledge if you already use it at least inspire you and uh, yeah, take what you need and reject um, what you don't need. I wish you alles Gute and uh, until next time.